Parallel threads doesn't seem like much to ask, but for the last 10 years, the official song and dance has been no, we can't do that. But we can switch between threads so that it appears they're running simultaneously. Yes, the compute thread takes twice as long to finish, but even worse, if it doesn't call sleep for or sit for, you get the worst case situation where UI freezes until the compute thread finishes. The concurrent situation only succeeds if all threads regularly call wait reading process output, which Emacs's main loop does, but not necessarily anyone else. Why are parallel threads hard? Here's one reason. In this example, where thread A binds standard output and standard indent a certain way, and thread B another way, you would think each thread maintains its own copy of those symbols. But Emacs bros would be quick to point out that's a very lexically scoped mindset and conflicts with Emacs's dynamically scoped roots. No, the standard output and standard indent symbols are unique across the interpreter. When control switches from thread A to B, Emacs pops off thread A's bindings and pushes on thread B's bindings. Now, when you call symbol value on standard output, you'll get buffer B. So Emacs cannot in good conscience so much as think about thread A until thread B yields control back and we perform the pop push dance in reverse. This begs the question, let's just maintain a thread local OB array for each thread. It will get garbage collected as soon as the thread dies. Recall an OB array or object array is Emacs's data structure for symbols. It's really just a hash table, but hash table was not in the computing vernacular in the 1980s. I added an optional flag to the function make thread called uncooperative, which essentially jailbreaks the thread from the auspices of the global lock. I then edited spec bind in eval.c to update the thread local version of the OB array to reflect the thread's let bindings. On the other end, in data.c, in the function find symbol value, I dig out those updates to the thread local OB array to apply the thread's let bindings. Well, I knew the interpreter was riddled with thread unsafe code, but I figured if I could successfully run a jailbroken thread that did absolutely nothing, then I'd be onto something. In terms of bare minimum thread safety, I would at least need to put mutex blocks around the Lisp object allocation code. After all, you would not want threads doing the Abbott and Costello who's on first routine with something as basic as cons cells. But my hopes were quickly dashed. Uncooperative threads segfaulted right out of the gate. For instance, print.c uses a singleton static buffer, which got raked over the coals every time a thread displayed something in the mini buffer. I played whack-a-mole for a few iterations and gave up. Maybe I was just one whack or one mole away from getting it to all work, but I doubt it.